City inspectors are expected to show up at any moment at R. Kelly's recording studio. There are even reports that the singer himself may stop by. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli joins us now to tell us more about exactly what's been going on. And Mike, you've been there all morning. We are expecting those city building inspectors to be here between 11 and 2 o'clock this afternoon. That's because the building that you're looking at right now is zoned as commercial. But some people have complained that R. Kelly has people living inside. A man who says he's a brother of R. Kelly says that's simply not true. A man who identified himself as R. Kelly's stepbrother attempts to make his way inside the singer's west side recording studio. But then, after failing to get in, he's confronted by a woman. Robert, well, too bad. I'm not. Sorry. I, well, you need to. If you're defending him. And then the man who would not give us his first name pulled over and made a statement about R. Kelly. My brother didn't do anything wrong. The R&B superstar was recently profiled in a Lifetime documentary series called Surviving R. Kelly. In that series, many women came forward saying they were abused by the singer, in some cases when they were underage. Some say they were held as virtual prisoners in what they liken to a sex cult surrounding the superstar singer. R. Kelly would have let them go. R. Kelly did nothing wrong with these women. These girls know what they were doing. They out there, out here trying to get paid. But prosecutors in Atlanta and Cook County are now looking into allegations of possible sex abuse. And the warehouse, according to sources, is under 24-hour surveillance. The stepbrother calls it outrageous. When women call him a monster, what do you say? He's not a monster. He's a human being just like us. He's not a monster at all. But Jeanette Finn disagrees. She watched the documentary and was so horrified that she instantly checked out as a lifelong fan. And I watched all six episodes in one night and wanted to take a shower and bleach and ammonia and wire scrub brushes. I was sick to my stomach. Earlier in the morning, long before dawn, this man walked out of R. Kelly's recording studio carrying a computer tower and two large boxes. The man wasn't in the mood to talk to us at 525 this morning. He ignored my questions and then proceeded to load the boxes and CP unit into the back of a car before driving away. And that stepbrother says R. Kelly will be stopping by here at some point today as we look at live at the front door of the studio. That is the landlord tries to throw the 52-year-old singer out saying he owes some $80,000 in back rent. And again, we expect the city building inspectors to be arriving here at any moment. Reporting live on the near west side, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Back to you. All right, Mike, thank you.